To calibrate the pumps, they must be charged. If the pumps have not been charged within the past 48 hours, you must recharge the pumps prior to sampling. Start the pumps as they need to warm up for at least three minutes before you begin the calibration. Be sure to verify the pump flow rates in an area where you are not exposing the media and equipment to the contaminant, like an office setting. All pumps have the lab calibration information on the field pump data sheets provided. Set up the pumps with the correct media in line, with the field rotometer as shown. The order of the components for calibration is pump, tubing, PEM, calibration cap, tubing, and rotometer. To set up calibration, install the tubing to the pump and then to the PEM. Check to be sure the O-ring is properly seated in the O-ring groove inside the calibration cap. Push the calibration cap onto the PEM. Connect the rotometer to the calibration cap. Cover the top larger opening of the calibration cap with your finger while calibrating to create a tight seal. With everything sitting on a level flat surface, check the ball float in the rotometer. Be sure to take your rotometer reading at eye level and use the center of the float for the value. If you need to adjust the flow, use the set screw on the pump. After you are satisfied with the flow rate, record the value on the field pump data sheet. Remove the calibration cap, rotometer, and tubing from the PEM. Unscrew the PEM, remove the calibration filter, place it in the Petri slide, and mark it for post-calibration use. After sampling is completed, a post-calibration must be performed on the pump. Perform the post-calibration the same way you did the pre-calibration, using the marked calibration filter installed in the PEM, but do not make any set screw adjustments. Just record the flow rate on the pump calibration sheet. The pre and post rates should be within 10% of each other. If they are, average the flow rates to determine the flow rate to be used to calculate the air volume. Multiply the flow rate, LPM, by the total time sampled in minutes to get the air volume in liters. Record the total liters on the field pump data sheets and the chain of custody. If the post sampling rates are not within 10%, OSHA considers the samples screening samples, and if the analytical results show high levels, resampling is recommended. Then, complete the chain of custody form. It is important that you include all the information requested in order to ensure the turnaround time of your samples. Remove the pink copy and keep this for your records. Send the white and yellow copies in with the samples to the lab in the large Ziploc bag. Questions? Contact SGS Galson by phone or IH Live Chat, 303-566-1800.